We're, we're just, just saying, like, what if? Yeah, dude, <laughs> it's a fun <laughs> conversation. Come on, yeah, dude. dude. And you Plus know how many people skin looks so soft. What else yeah, too? People have been correcting a lot. Is you know how I say slaps for everything? Oh yeah, because like it smacks. I'm like, bro, there's not a fucking rule. I can say slaps. Yeah, for you food can if say whatever the fuck to, you dude. want. It's because it's a it's a Bay Area thing, right? So I know yeah, they take their saying, lingo very I mean, seriously. Been, it's, it's for some reason people in the Bay are so particular about that shit. I'm from Sacramento, right? So mm. like I understand what they mean, but is it a big fucking deal? Who I the know. fuck cares? <laughs> I'm like, bro, right? I've I've just said slaps for everything. I never knew it was like a. Uh, a term in in the bay. Yo, when fucking know. Alex fucks, he's like, yo, this pussy slaps. Hey, I know. I'm like, hey, girl, this pussy really does slap on it. She's <laughs> like, excuse oh. me, you're supposed to say smack. Yeah, it I'm like, oh, shit, dude. All right, bye. Yeah, this but Bay Area are very, on his head, they're you know? very fucking particular about that shit. They want people to understand that when it comes for food, it's smacks, and then when it comes for music, it's always slaps. But you don't use it for anything else, and if you do, it's heresy. Hey, hey I'm gonna use it for both. I don't say schmacks. Yeah, I don't do that. I say slaps for everything. It's not as fun to say. But I'm no. just. Well, I guess my thing is, I guess people in SoCal or whatever use it different. That's all. Yeah, it dude, is what it whatever, is. bro. Dude, who cares? What a weird bro. thing to like get upset about. I don't think they're schmacks. upset, but just like you know, that shit schmacks. Yeah, and it's it slaps. See, that sounds weird. I don't want to go shh. I don't like that yeah, shit. Bro, all this like fucking, say. all the like gunk builds up and like you drip and shit, bro. <laughs> I ain't trying to drip. <laughs> oh, shout out! I mean, to, I got uh, drip, but shout outs to fucking uh, alien beef jerky for the uh, the racist eat out. <laughs> Yo, you guys want to hear something mad funny about that shit though? I'm not saying that I am the catalyst or the source for that shit. He's the catalyst. He I'm is the source. It. No. David's not saying. No, it. I'm, I'm not saying sure. I'm the catalyst. <laughs> so I got a message from a friend of mine, who uh, who told me about his personal friend mm -hmm. that contacted this is this is a really famous beef jerky spot that everybody stops by when they drive to vegas right so that long three hour drive yeah. everybody stops by that spot mm -hmm. even i know that place they yeah. have really great everybody beef jerky. knows that even and i do i've been to vegas once i think and they, yeah. you know about that yeah. spot right very unique the beef jerky is you know really good mm -hmm. it's an immigrant mexican family that owns it so uh one of our friends uh she basically emailed them um i don't know exactly what she does but you know it was solicit them for some business or whatever yeah. right and he responds back that we don't not to not the exact quotes but basically saying that he doesn't want anything to do with any orientals delete my email or whatever blah 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 yeah and so people's it was very aggressive it was very aggressive for a business there. email yeah. yeah and so she was like what the fuck did she in, in the email that she sent out did she say that she was an oriental uh well the, her picture is there on the email uh, so he saw so, the, he saw the okay he saw there the it is. gooky <laughs> ass eyes he yeah. goes i don't fuck with gooks there it is dude <laughs> And what so, else do you have to say? I don't say that word. Uh, a buddy of mine messaged that to me, and he's like, yo, what the fuck is this shit about? He goes like, yo, can you do something about this? And at first, like, I don't... I don't really like doing this, but mm -hmm. then I kind of sat on it, and I'm like... It's problematic, dude. I was like, this is fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked you know, up, So I, I did a little light tweet. The the tweet's gone now, by the way. I deleted that shit. That shit was getting a little uh, too crazy. Doesn't matter. I, I too screenshotted late. it. <laughs> I'm, king, I'm the king of screenshots. You should notice. And by hey, now. Hey, DM ah. Alex for that. It was screenshot. kind of getting up there in likes <laughs> and retweets a little faster than I expected. And I'm like, mm. okay, well they learned their lesson because after I posted that, about an hour later, they had like, I don't on their Yelp because I I actually uh, hyperlinked their Yelp as well. Yeah. It got. I don't know, 200 like one star reviews in like an hour or something. I'm like, cool. They learned their lesson. Nothing is going to happen after this. Lo and behold, that day, it's everywhere, dude. Like yeah. it blew yeah. the fuck up. Well, that's it, what you kind of deserve, though. It's, you know, it, talking it, it, talking for, like that. What for, the fuck? For what that per and then their excuse was kind of weak. They said like he's a he's a Mexican immigrant. That has nothing to do with he, the email. He his the language barrier. But I was no, like, dog, this fool's same, been. He, and then the people were also saying that they've been in business for like 23 years. Yeah. Yeah. They and and they exactly they, they, they were, dealt with all oriental and people they were also, and shit, bro. And, and they were also saying that um, this is like they've done stuff like this before oh he's not supposed to be making those messages like yeah. he's not the one in charge so oh, what? so who the fuck gave yeah. no password then what the hell yeah. so then that's even crazier so he came up him. to one of his kids he's like hey let me see the uh, password yeah, he's like, I'll handle this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I just need to buy something from Amazon let me, let me <laughs> you know what that password. reminds me of now actually something like that kind of happened in the powerlifting world uh, there is a big meet that always goes on, and it's one of the meets where like the big lifters go because you can make a, a lot of money off of this meet. I forget mm -hmm. the exact name of the meet, but it was held in a gym in San Diego, right? So they open up like I do this meet called the Boss of Bosses. It's at a gym in Mountain View. Mm -hmm. You might know where that's at, right? Yeah. Mountain View. Um, it's owned by a guy, a big powerlifter named Dan Green. He owns the gym, right? That so man looks like a refrigerator. Dog. Oh, you know that who Dan Green is? is. I know yes. oh, okay. Yeah. So. Um, 
Yeah, so he he holds that meat, right? So I do that one. So there's another meat like that, really big. Um, they open it up at bosses. They do one day where it's like amateur, you would say, and then the other day's professional or yeah. like um, you don't have to qualify for this day, but if you're going to do this day, you have to qualify, right? So same with this other meat. They did something like that where you have to qualify for this meat. So this one girl emails the meat director who owns the gym her numbers and stuff like that. Like, oh, this is my numbers. La, la, la. Basically, she qualified for the meet or some shit like that, right? Her, the response back from that girl was like, why the fuck are you like wasting my time with this bullshit? With these weak ass numbers? Like saying some fucking crazy ass shit, right? So that girl screenshotted it and posted it on Instagram and everybody just repost, repost, yeah. repost, repost, repost. It got all the way back around to the federation that we, like I compete in USPA. Uh, and they actually like wiped her off. She's not allowed to hold the meats anymore. That meat got wiped. So her why did shit. she? Why did she go off like that? I don't. She's. I don't. I don't fully remember what her excuse was. I think she was like she was emotional or that type of some bullshit. Fuck. Yeah, but bro, bro. Like that was a thing. She was like the what girl was like cop out. The girl dog. was like you told us to email you our numbers and stuff. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. And her response, I don't remember word for word. It's like, what am I supposed to do with these weak ass shit? I was like, first dog, of all, it's oh, money, dog. I'm all, paying you. All to you compete. do is just be like, sorry. You know, uh, this this highly still competitive. doesn't yeah this still doesn't meet the requirements that we're looking yeah. for for the competition or first of we, all we I have just want to say this stuff. what a great roast though hilarious but second of all like why would these weak ass why? fucking yeah. bitch yeah. ass numbers if I was yeah. somebody who was a weightlifter and I heard that I think I would cry yeah I'd quit I'd, be like, I'd quit yeah. and second of all fuck why? me right people you get talk. emotional about their numbers and their <laughs> yeah, calves dog. too yeah. don't forget them calves bro and I don't but know what that's like because your boy got great calves I know me too he's talking about me. Yeah, right? those little fucking yeah, you got pathetic nothing. little things. Bro, you're so fragile and weak, bro. I sometimes want to crush you and just be like, bro, <laughs> like get bigger. Oh, dude, I'm trying, man. It's all good. I'm bro. waiting for my my steroids in the fucking mail. This guy's gonna hey, get me on a cycle, dog. Hey, them shit's fun. Hey, I'm, don't say that. Everybody think I sell shit, bro. I'm I don't. Hey, yo, DM this fool for your steroids. <laughs> oh God, we got right. SARMs. We got HGH. <laughs> we got SARMs. I don't. HGH. We got yeah. We got all the HG stuff. SARMs, dude. You don't even know about that shit, dude. You huh? Yeah, homie. We got dragon steroids, bro. Yeah, dog. Bro. You want scales? No. Yeah, no, it's it's crazy. Steroids are crazy too. I would let me tell you something. If you guys ever oh, see yeah? buff ever, just <laughs> yeah. know that I was on steroids. Yeah. There's absolutely me, no me, way I did that by myself. Me and David are gonna we're gonna hop on a cycle together. Nah, bro. man, I, I just I feel like I would no, get no, the bad no, end we're, of it. We're, we're, no, we're, gonna, we're not doing that. You wouldn't, do you wouldn't, bro. Because that's how I was. So I did uh, I did a cycle of test right. And that's kind of how I always was. I was I was always so nervous to Whoa, do it. Well, are you admitting to steroids right now? Yeah, I don't care, bro. Wow. I don't understand. I don't wow. understand why people lie about this shit, dude. It's like I feel bad for like people that are trying to come up and like say you're trying to learn fitness and stuff, and you yep. see this person and they're like all ripped and shit, and they're lying. They're like, oh, I'm all natural, dude. Well, that's, you're, like, you're, that's, dude. that's the problem with a lot of people who kind of who, here's the thing about the fitness industry that a lot of people don't know so much money in this shit like yep. a ridiculous yeah. amount there's a reason why people